The Per Temps Fox Hunters Chase, three mile, two furlong, zero to 100, and Burrow Hill Ladders up the top for Darren Howes. And we've got Mighty Dev, U Half, Bootsy, the 10 to 3 joint favourite, Kubla Khan, Miley at Surfer, and with Outlaw Torn, Obi Wan. And then we've got Sphinx Princess, the Angelas, Little Istanbul, Cuisine, Deceiver, Joala, Maclet, and Mighty Lady for Alex Cherry, number 13. Flag drops. And straight away we're into the action. And we've lost one straight away as well. So Outlaw Torn has dropped the jockey. And that, I believe, was a joint favourite. So bad luck, Obi-Wan. They come to the second. So this race is over three miles, so we will see what at least two pull up. Usually that happens around the 12 to 10 furlong mark of the race as they go over the third. Ooh, very sticky jump at the tail there from Deceiver. And they run down the straight here, and no doubt there's a couple of laps to go in this race. a track if it was 21 furlongs round that'd be four kilometers you'd need the Hubble telescope as a race caller in the stand to watch them in the back section of the track that is for sure so they come to the fourth and they all jump that nicely so the stable mates are out in front here Kazine and Little Istanbul then we've got another set of stable mates behind it. Burrow Hill Lad and Sphinx Princess. And then we've got you half, Bootsy, Mighty Lady, Joala Maclet between runners. Mighty Dev, they come to the fifth. Oh, hitting it there was Mighty Dev, lost a length. Kubla Khan, Deceiver, the Angelis. furlongs left to go. And these two runners putting a bit of pace in the race, but it's not a lot of pace. And it's Kazine, nice lead over at stable mate, little in Istanbul. And a two away to Burrow Hill Lad. And then two and a half, three to a stable mate, Sphinx Princess. U half moving up on the outside as they take the next. The grey there, Joala Maclet. It's the only grey in the race. Mighty Devs there, Kubla Calm, Deceiver, Bootsy. And just at the tail for now is D'Angelo's. They come to the ditch. And they've all jumped that safely. they go and nothing's really changed in the order for the first half of the field if anything Joala Maclet my horse has just drifted back to second last so come on down to the tenth oh the leader went through it and so too did Darren's second horse there Sphinx Princess as they run down the home stretch here to, for a lap to go. And this is usually around about now where the pull ups start to happen. So come on down to the winning post. So we've officially got a lap to go, and the two stable mates are now pretty much running side by side. In behind them, Burrow Hill Lad having a nice, comfortable run as well, and so too, U Half. Deceiver's just inched its way through the field to be in fifth spot now as I go over the next. Then we've got uh, Mighty Lady, Sphinx Princess, uh, Mighty Dev, Kubla Khan, Joala Maclet, Bootsy and the Angelas. They take the next.
Oh, we've lost one there. The Barry Hill lad dropped the jockey. Bad luck, Darren. Still got the Sphinx Princess running. Seven furlongs to run. Still plenty of time in this race. Looks like the pull-up curse isn't going to strike. So both the Carl's horses are really kicking clear here. And that's Cuisine and Little Instample. Mighty Lady has come out of the pack to get into a close position. Now we are losing the Angelus. It's getting pulled up as they take the next. Oh, and my horse dropped the jockey, Dwala Maclet. So Cuisine is nicely clear here from Little Istanbul. So take this ditch. Running on well as Mighty Dev. So two Mighty Lady and you half. I don't think anything else could win from here. So come on down three furlongs left to go. And the two stable mates chased over that brilliantly. It's a little instant ball now taking the lead from Kazine. Mighty Lady running on with you half and nothing else really can win at the two furlong. There's one more to get over, I believe, and it should be coming up any second. And here it is. And this race is over. Mighty Lady just crashed through it, lost all momentum. Running home is Kubla, Kubla Khan, or Khan from a long way back, but Little Istanbul comes on down to the line, and I think that's two in a row for Carl Aragonte, and it wins from Cuisine, Mighty Lady third, Kubla Khan fourth. Three riderless horses, but congratulations, Carl Aragonte with Little Istanbul first and Cuisine second. Mighty Lady was brave for Alex Cherry. Kubla Khan ran on nicely for Molly at Surfer. And Yu Half ran a steady race for Hollywood Hinton.